Los Angeles and the county district attorney has the Menendez brothers has recommended that the Menendez brothers be resentenced over the murder of their parents back in 1989. Criminologist at the University of Newcastle, Dr. Zanthe Mallet, has been following the case and joins us now. Thank you so much for your time this morning. So, as we've heard, the prosecutor has recommended that the brothers be resentenced. What does this actually mean? Good morning. So this is a huge decision this morning. What this means is the brothers will now go back for resentencing and it will be term determined whether they've actually paid their debt to society and they could actually be released as soon as that judge has made the decision. So this is very, very significant in this case. And ultimately, I, I have to say I agree with this decision. Remind us about the history of this case and also the significant media coverage around it. Will that have had an effect? I do think the media coverage has had an effect, but ultimately, you know, many people have been supporting these brothers in the decades since they fakely shot their parents, which they never denied. They agreed that they killed their parents, but they said it was self-defence after years and years of serious physical and emotional abuse. And a number of people have been looking at this case. New evidence has been brought to light. And ultimately, it's been determined, I think, by many people certainly believe that this is a case of self-defence rather than murder, as the boys were tried for when they they were much younger um, many years ago now, 35 years ago. And the prosecutor said when making the recommendation that, you know, a lot of people believe they still deserve to stay in prison. Others believe their claims that they acted in self-defence due to a long history of sexual abuse. What's the overall reaction been to today's announcement? Well, I think, well... And we seem to have lost our connection to our professor, Xanthe Mallet. Of course, we are talking about the breaking news this morning. The breaking news this morning. The Menendez brothers and the prosecutor has recommended that they be resentenced. Now, what that means in real terms is it could mean they are released from prison after that breaking news. They were convicted of killing their parents back in 1989. The brothers have long insisted that that was due to a long history of sexual abuse in the family. Now, we may be getting our professor back very shortly to talk about the complexities of this case. And I believe, Professor, you are back on our line this morning. Apologies, we lost you. We were talking about, before you dropped out, what the reaction has been to today's announcement. Well, it's been very short so far. It's only come out in the last hour or so that these young men's sentences will now be reviewed by a judge. So I think we're going to see that over the next few days. But certainly there has been a big push over a number of years now. There's been a new Netflix series that's also raised more awareness of this case. And many people do believe the young men were subjected to years and years of physical and sexual abuse by their father. I have to agree that this is the correct thing. I don't think they're a danger to anybody else. So I think we're going to see a big reaction to what has been a very high profile case. How quickly could we see them released? Well, the next sentence, well, the next court date is the 26th of November. So we'll expect some movement then, but it really depends on how quickly the justice system wants to move on this. But there is a lot of public pressure. There's a lot of attention on this. So I don't think they're going to want to drag this out any, any longer than is absolutely necessary. And it's incredible, Professor, when you look at the effect of media. And this is not the first case that has been reopened or that we've seen a major development in because of a media production. Yeah, absolutely. We see that quite regularly. Long format television documentaries, podcasts, they can really shine a light on some of these cases and not even just the high profile ones. And it does make us take a look at those, you know, from a social justice perspective and certainly what we know about the history of these young men now, which we didn't know when they were first successfully prosecuted for murder, I think really does change the way we should look at this case and change the discussion around sexual abuse of men, because I think that's something that's been highly stigmatized. And I think we really need to look at this from a trauma-informed perspective.